news today because Nike has decided to feature him in a new ad campaign. Now the slogan is uh, believe in something even if it means sacrificing everything. Which I don't think is the best of slogans because, you know, you could say, hey, Hitler believed in something and he sacrificed everything. But whatever. Uh, <laughs> no. Actually, I guess Nike is really taking this message to heart as they've already lost almost four billion dollars. I don't understand why all these leftists are so, like, bent on getting rid of, like, half of their audience or half of their supporters or, you know, half of their consumer base. I, it, like, this is crazy. I, I mean, this Trump derangement syndrome has to be real because people are just throwing money away. My take on this whole matter is 1,200 people a year are killed over these stupid shoes, according to a video that is on the uh, GQ website that features part of the documentary called uh, Sneakerheads. So I'm gonna read a quick quote from here. It didn't surprise me that kids would become violent and really ferocious about these shoes because the way the companies market them. They market them as if they're the dream. Uh, Mike Epps, the actor and avid sneaker collector, says in the video, okay, end quote. We know that these are mostly black children and youths that are dying year after year, yet Nike continues to crank out more Air Jordans. Black lives don't matter, but green money does. Now they have another black man's face that they can use to help kill black kids. But Nike doesn't just not care about black kids. They also don't care about brown kids. If you don't believe me, just look up how they treat the children and women that work in their factories in Vietnam. These, these people are completely abused and exploited. There are plenty of polls and surveys out there that will let you know that the vast majority of Americans think that you should stand for the flag. For every veteran, you know, that you think that you know that says, oh, it's okay, there are several more that do not think it is okay. The people that think it's okay are in the minority. And can somebody please explain to me how Colin Kaepernick kneeling for the flag while wearing socks with cops depicted as pigs on them is somehow part of this, you know, respectful protest that nobody should be offended by. Ugh. Martin Luther King didn't do anything like this because he was smart. He understood that insulting the majority of the country is not going to help your cause. All anyone is doing right now is arguing over whether or not, you know, this is, this is a good idea or a bad idea, and no one is actually helping people. Like, nobody is doing anything to help the kids. Well, let me tell you something. I help the kids, okay? I am one of the people who was down there in the trenches. You know, I, I love these kids. Like, I volunteer with these kids. And I've had people with master's degrees coming to me and telling me that, you know, this kid over here, oh, he, he's lost cause. You know, you know, don't even waste your time. And you know what? I haven't listened to them. And thank God I haven't listened to them because I have had some really amazing results. Okay, and here's another thing. I'm not worried about one of my kids being one of the 16 people a year, uh, they are unarmed black people that are shot by police. And by the way, unarmed does not necessarily mean unjustified. I am, however, worried about these kids being one of the 7,171 black kids that are black people that are killed by other black people. And for that, I'm using the 2016 FBI crime statistics. I've been there for these kids when they come to school and there's an empty desk because somebody that they know, one of their friends, has been shot and killed. And it hasn't been by the cops. I teach these kids, okay? I teach these kids... <sighs> Sorry, moment. I teach these kids how to escape the cycle of poverty through education. 
I teach these kids that their net worth shouldn't be on their feet. It should be in the bank. And I teach these kids to stand for the flag because in this country, you can come here with nothing but the clothes on your back. And with hard work and dedication, you can see your dreams fulfilled. Because Nike has decided to feed Stupid roosters! Stop crowing while I'm trying to talk! Trying to talk! If you like this video, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I'm right from right, left of center. And if you're watching, you're probably right too.